What's up everyone, Garrett here from Code the Web and welcome back to another video in our 2016 Web Design Trends series. Now, in this video we're going to be taking a look at parallax, um, the parallax effect in web design. I found six, no, five uh, amazing, amazing examples for you guys that I want to show you. Before we get started though, if you guys are interested in like entrepreneurship, leadership, um, self-improvement, that sort of thing, check out my other channel. It's called Mogulvate. A link will be in the description as well. Um, also, I started a technology channel, just like general tech channel. So if you want to check that out, link in the description to that as well. So definitely subscribe to both of those two channels. Let's get started. Now, this is in order of my, like, I don't want to say least favorite because I like all of these five examples, but my favorite one, like it's in descending order. So, or it's in ascending order. So this is my least favorite, if you will. And then the last one will be my favorite, which I think is really, really incredible. So uh, that'll be awesome to show you guys that. Okay, so this one, the scrolling isn't really parallax, but when you move your cursor around, when you hover over the page, uh, you do get this idea that there's snow, I guess. Um, and then there's some stuff behind there that, that moves uh, less. And what's interesting is that uh, there's an overall concept right now of multi-layered parallax. So what parallax does is it allows you to have the perspective that you are moving through three-dimensional space, even if you're not like through three-dimensional space, but on like a two-dimensional axis, if that makes sense. So the environment that you're in is 3D, it's, it's real, but your movement is only 2D, basically. Um, and so what happens is even, you know, in real life, if you think about it, if you move your head around, right, just side to side, uh, don't turn your head, but actually move your body. You'll see that things that are closer to you move faster than things that are away from you. And the same thing is true um, for parallax, or at least parallax tries to mimic that. So as we move our cursor around, these dots that move faster are closer to us. And the less something is moving, the farther it is away from us. This one's kind of similar. There's no really scroll here, but as we move our cursor around, you'll see that things move um, a little bit. And they actually move at a different pace once again. So this is where we kind of get to the actual scrolling things. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys those two previous ones because it really does, they do a great job of illustrating or demonstrating rather uh, what parallax is exactly. So in this one, if we scroll, it doesn't scroll down, it scrolls from left to right. So you can see that these buildings in the foreground are a lot closer to us. So they're going to move a lot faster than let's say the buildings in the back or than the mountains that are behind that. This last one right here. Now these two, these two last ones are my absolute favorites. Um, I really struggle deciding which one to make my favorite, but look at this. So look how beautiful that is. I mean, first off the illustration, the colors, all that is really, really nice, but look at how well it scrolls and it really does give you the idea that you are moving your head um, down a vertical axis. It's really, really lifelike, I think. And that's because it's what they call multi-layered parallax. So different things are, are different layers. And, and depending on the layer, um, depends on how quickly those objects or elements within that layer move at, uh, as you scroll. And that's what gives you the effect. The last one here is by far my favorite. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, the illustration um, and the artwork that they have on this site. But then as you scroll, I mean, look at how realistic that is. I mean, it really, really does look three-dimensional because they just did that well of a job on this. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. Check, so check that out. Basically, the main key here is that this is called multi-layered parallax. And basically, just to reiterate, uh, things are there's many objects within this page that you want to move as you scroll but not all of them are on the same layer things that are that should be that you want to appear and feel as if they're closer to the to the user those things scroll faster and things that you want to appear as if they're farther away those things scroll um, slower and then you kind of get this effect as if you're actually moving within 3d space which is pretty awesome all right um, thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video, if you want to learn more about web design, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Peace.